Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we learn how to create spider spider charts in uh, Python using the library Plotly, and we'll do it in the eight steps that are mentioned here. But before we dive deeper into the code, let us try to first understand what uh, spider charts are. So these charts are known by a lot of names. Some of uh, the most famous ones are uh, radar chart, spider chart, uh, polar chart, and irregular polygon. Right, you can have a look at the other names as well that are mentioned here. And let us just take an example and see what these charts aim to represent. So what we have here is a radar chart that uh, that has a uh, skill mentioned at the uh, edges of this polygon and the comparison has been done across accuracy, collision, trajectory, completion and time of various designs. The designs are represented by the colors. So we'll try to achieve something very similar uh, using Python. So let's uh, get ahead. Okay. So we'll only use two libraries here. One is Pandas, which we'll use to handle the data frames, and the other one is Plotly, which we'll use to create a spider chart. And the data frame that we we'll use to create the chart is uh, I have declared it over here. So what uh, the data frame has is uh, character, skill, and score. So what we'll try to do is the skill will represent it at the edges of the circumference and then uh, the character we'll use as the color and the magnitude would be our uh, a radius. The score would be our radius. So let us create a very basic uh, spider chart and we can do that by simply using the statement px.linepolar and we, we need to pass four attributes to this function. One is the data frame into consideration. Then we have the radius, which would be this. Then we have theta, which is the skill, which is represented on the circumference. Then the final thing is color, which is the character in our case. So here, what we are trying to do is we are trying to compare the skills of the various characters that we have. Okay. So the next thing that I would want to do is I want, uh, this is uh, currently not a, a complete polygon. This is uh, like disconnected from over here. So what I'll try to do is I'll, I want to connect speed and deception. So I can do that by simply adding this uh, statement which is a line underscore close equal to true. And once I do that, as you can see here, uh, speed and deception are now connected. What uh, additionally I would want to do is I want to fill these uh, polygons with some color. And that can simply be done by adding the statement called pick dot update traces fill to itself. And once I do that, as you can see that uh, the polygons are now filled and uh, one thing more that you will notice is these polygons uh, they are not filled with a solid color so uh, they, they are slightly transparent so you can compare uh, everything across uh, all the characters that we have uh, the next thing that i would want to do is to add a chart title to my uh, chart i can do that simply by adding uh, pick dot update layout and in the title attribute I need to mention that what uh, title do I want for my chart and what the orientation of the title needs to be. So here I've mentioned all of those things and once I execute uh, you can see that uh, okay the title has been mentioned here at the top. The next next thing that I would want to do is here the legends are present at the top right I want them to be at the bottom uh, center so that uh, we can see the complete picture uh, up acquiring less space so how do i do that is by adding this uh, uh, legend uh, attribute where i need to mention okay the orientation needs to be h which means horizontal so what this orientation does is uh, it makes the legends horizontal in the previous case these were vertical right uh, and then i have the uh, I need to uh, mention it that uh, the, the other attributes that where does the X and Y need to be and the Y anchor needs to be bottom. So once I do all of uh, may make all these changes and then I execute. So you would notice that the uh, legend is now shifted to the bottom center instead of the top right. Okay. So the next thing that I would do is I want to change the theme of my chart and here I've just uh, uh, shown that what all uh, themes can look like in uh, plotly so uh, so so what i've done is i've simply created a for loop and i've uh, uh, pre-created the chart for every theme so here 
are the various loop uh, various themes that you are seeing and i actually like the like this theme the most uh, so what i'll do is which, which is the final theme which is none so what i'll do is i'll simply use the template as none and then create a plot so so how do we add a theme we simply write this uh, state uh, write this attribute called template and then we mention the theme that we want to use and once we do that here is our final uh, spider chart that has been created thank you